Hey everyone, hey. This is just a quick live to give you an update on justice for St. Quayla Robinson. So, okay, the North Carolina governor has um, spoke on this and I have not heard him speak on this yet, so maybe I'm unaware of it, but I have not seen him speak on it yet, but I'm glad he finally spoke on it and it's better late than never. So let's get into the video. Let me play the video of him speaking first and then I will read the article. Governor Roy Cooper says Shanquella Robinson's family is in his thoughts. He spoke to Channel 9's government reporter Joe Bruno about her case, saying he's hopeful the FBI will get to the bottom of this mysterious death and find out what really happened. Not knowing really what happened to your loved one, that has to be a cause of great concern. And I hope that federal officials and the FBI can work with the Mexican government to find out what happened to her. Shanquilla died while on vacation with friends in Mexico in late October. Investigators there say an arrest warrant has been issued in the case, but no suspect was named and no arrests have yet been made. Okay, and there you have it. There is still no arrest in this, but just like the governor of North Carolina, we are all hoping and praying that Shanquela will get justice. And yeah, the extradition process is, is more complicated than we all thought it would be because we are used to people get um, having a warrant in the United States. And once they have a warrant, we are like, hey, the police can go pick that person up and throw their ass in jail because they have a, war a warrant, right? Well, as we have learned throughout this process, it's different with the extradition, especially when we have the FBI investigating in the United States. And we also have the uh, uh, Mexican officials um, doing their own separate investigation. And after learning a lot of things, I can see why the process is slower than we expect, because if the FBI um, feels like maybe there's more to it and, and if she's extradited, Mexico, what happened if they don't have the all the like what happened if all the evidence wasn't gathered properly? What happened if it? You know, if the evidence wasn't all gathered right and it was the scene was contaminated or something was done improperly during the investigation when they arrived to this on scene for Shanquilla, like, for instance, let's say they treated it as um, just alcohol poisoning instead of a crime scene, like a violent crime scene, and then they might have not done everything they should have done. So then if Dejane is extradited back over there, the case could be ruined, you know? So maybe the FBI could actually do something over here so they will actually not get away with this if they were extradited, if you get my point. So, um, but still, yet and still, we are still going to um, stay on the FBI. We're going to stay on everybody, the Mexican officials, and stay on everybody until she gets justice. Because whenever you're fighting for justice for someone, you stay on it. For those just getting here, let me go ahead and play that video one more time. And then I'll read the article, and then that will be it. Governor Roy Cooper says Shanquella Robinson's family is in his thoughts. He spoke to Channel 9's government reporter Joe Bruno about her case, saying he's hopeful the FBI will get to the bottom of this mysterious death and find out what really happened. Not knowing really what happened to your loved one, that has to be a cause of great concern. And I hope that federal officials and the FBI can work with 
the Mexican government to find out what happened to her. Shanquilla died while on vacation with friends in Mexico in late October. Investigators there say an arrest warrant has been issued in the case, but no suspect was named and no arrests have yet been made. Be with their families for the holiday. You know what, towards the end of that video, it seemed like the governor was still going to say some more stuff because his lips were still moving. So I wonder if uh, he, what else he said, because it, it didn't seem like that was a complete like ending to what he was saying. So maybe they edited out what else he was going to say. But now I'm wondering, like curious of what he was talking about. Um, so let me read the article. Once I read the article, I'll go over y'all's comments. Um, let's see. Okay, it says North Carolina governor hopeful feds will solve Shanquela Robinson's um, death. It says governor Roy Cooper said Friday that his thoughts are with the family of a Charlotte woman who died in late October while on vacation with friends in Mexico. Uh, fake friends, fake friends. Cooper said he was hopeful the FBI will solve the case of Shanquela Robinson's mysterious death and find out what happened. He said, knowing really what happened to your loved one, that has to be a cause of great concern. Um, Cooper told Channel 9 reporter jo, uh, Joe Bruno in Raleigh. And I am hopeful federal officials and the FBI can work together to find out what happened to her. Investigators in Mexico said an arrest warrant has been issued in the case, but no suspect was named. No one has been apprehended. So just breaking apart what he said, he said, for the governor said, not knowing really what happened to your loved one, that has to be a cause of great concern. So he's resonating with the parents who are doing interviews and it's clear they want to, they want answers and we all want answers. And that's why I even started with the petition as we need answers. We all want to know exactly what happened. Now we know she was murdered in Cabo, but we just, we like the family would want to know everything that happened to their daughter and get justice for her. Okay. What they do know is that the Cabo six lied. And also this shows that the governor himself um, he probably feels like, you know, he watched everything and he believes there's more to it too. So the Cabo six, y'all better watch out because no one believes anything y'all have said about what happened in Cabo. Okay. Um, he used the word he, he's hoping that this will get solved. So no one is buying y'all's lies. Y'all are going to be locked up. Um, some of you will get a lesser charge than the others, but Dejanet, your manly face, strong face, strong jaw ass, you're going to be in uh, Mexico uh, in jail. And if not over there, over here, your ass is going to be in jail. Okay. So, um, and he said, I, and I hope um, federal officials and the FBI can work together to find out what happened to her. So, um, yeah, so he's hoping that the LPI and the, um, and, and people and the Mexican officials can get this together, get it together, honey, get it together, get it together and, um, work on this together. So justice can be served for Shanquela and the family can get answers and get justice for their daughter who was wrongly, um, killed in Mexico by fake, um, friends and also it was covered up by fake friends who came back and lied to her face so um yeah so we all know that an arrest warrant was issued and we were excited about that because in the united states when someone has a, a, a warrant for their arrest all they need to do is be found and locked the fuck up right so that's what we were like expecting but obviously it's the extradition process is totally different so we have to have a little bit more patience, but 
in the meantime, we still have to keep her name alive. We have to be her boys and we still can get justice um, for her in, in all sorts of ways. Um, and also, like I said, watch my last video. Everybody that reported that fake Instagram page, great job. That page was down. Some people were going to report it, but once they got to it, it was already down. So thanks to everyone that reported it or even tried to report it because y'all were on top of it and that page was finally gone. Um, and it had like 33,000 followers. It was impersonating her mother. It was like sending messages to people as her mother, of course, and uh, no telling what else that page was doing, but it's down. So I know a lot of, even my Avengers, like my Avengers from my main channel are over here, like riding hard for Shanquela. And that's what we are all about. We know how to have fun. We also know how to uh, fight for justice. We know there's a time and a place for everything. So yeah, uh, let me go ahead with some comments. And like governor said, we are all hopeful and wanting justice. And we will uh, just hope this, the FBI, and Mexican officials can get it together, hunty, get it together. Because we want man face Desiree in jail. She's still out here waking up every morning and shaving her beard. No. Okay, so let's see. We want to see her mugshot. Let's see. Yeah, we want to see her in some handcuffs. We want, we want those man hands and handcuffs. That's what we want. So yeah, DeAndre uh, Dejanay Jackson, we want to see those man hands and handcuffs. Girl, we are ready, hunting, ready. And when we see those man hands and handcuffs, everybody's going to be celebrating. Everybody's going to be celebrating. Woo, child. I know I am. But yeah, until I see those man hands and handcuffs, I don't believe anybody's saying that she was arrested. So more and more people are just saying, yeah, she's not arrested. And that sucks, but one day soon one day soon okay so um let me say hey y'all let's see uh but yeah uh hey sharon um i hope you have a great weekend i probably won't be back on here my plan is to just this use this weekend to just refresh i need to refresh and get some more ideas and thoughts going and um, recharge. I need to recharge. Okay. Um, and also, I'm going to do some research behind the scenes so I can get some more information on different things like I was doing at, at the beginning um, and more details. And then by Monday, I should have more people to contact, more people to call so we can be like on the ground running starting on Monday. So that's my goal for the weekend. So if you don't see me this weekend, I'm, I am just refreshing and I'm also researching, refreshing and researching. That's what I'm going to be doing. Hey dudes, I don't want to use a name. Um, Night Charm, Baby Shay, Reviews and More, Be a Bossy. Thank you, um, Be a Bossy. Uh, thank you. So let me... Um, yeah, make sure you hit that like button, get this video into the algorithm. Also, make sure you keep on um, sharing that petition. I need more people to share that petition, okay? Um, so sign a petition at change.org forward slash Shanquela. Change.org forward slash Shanquela. Sign that petition. Share it with as many people as possible, okay? Because what happens is we can all say, hey, go look at this petition. There is 32,000 people that want justice for Shanquela. If we can get to 50,000, then we'll be able to say, go look at this petition. We have 50,000 people wanting justice for Shanquela. So that can be a good like um, example of like, we can give someone to show how many people want justice for her. So the higher that number, the better, okay? Um, obviously there's more than 32,000 people across the world that want justice for Shanquela, but where is the evidence or proof of it? Where's the evidence or proof that you can show, one, show someone of that many people wanting that justice, right? So the evidence could be in a petition where you can show a number of signatures. Like this is how many people want justice. So that's why the petition numbers matter. The next thing that matters is the action steps. When you have like recently power in numbers where you can send out something to say, hey, let's report this fake Instagram impersonation Quilla's mother. Let's everyone do it, thousands of people and boom, 
in less than like maybe 24 to 36 hours, that page is gone. But before then, nothing was happening. Like individual reports were not helping. But mass reporting and numbers, power and numbers, that page is gone. Okay. And the mother, I can't, I got to remember the interview, but she was complaining about that page. So that's a sigh of relief, or I would think it would be a sigh of relief for that page to be gone now. Okay. Um, because the family had reported that as well. So, hey, baby Shay. Sharon, um, if you use more. Okay, um, thank you for donating to the petition again. Yeah, and donating to the petition again, it does not go to my pockets or the family's pocket. It goes to getting the petition out to more people and it, all the money goes into chains.org. It goes into their system um, to spread the petition. So that's the in-house uh, call. That's their in-house fees for promoting the petition, okay? So make sure you read, you're reading the fine print. If you want money to go directly to the family, make sure you go to their GoFundMe. I have the official GoFundMe. There's two fake ones. I don't know what GoFundMe is doing, but I will send out more information to Mass Report. Did I ever send out an email to Mass Report to GoFundMe? You know what? I, I don't think I did. I think we reported it like in the video, but I don't think we Mass Reported it. So what I'll do is the next time I can send an email, I will let us all mass report those two fake GoFundMe's. But there's one real one that has a higher amount of donations, okay? And that's listed in a petition. So that's how you can donate to the family, okay? And we all know how you can donate to my channel, support my channel, okay? But I really don't be putting a lot of times my banner up. But the GoFundMe, uh, I mean, the money that's donated to the petition goes to Change.org only. Uh, thank you for everyone that donated to change the word to have that uh, petition promoted. So thank you again. Um, be a bossy. Okay. So okay. divine feminine justice. Um, Merry Christmas. I've been evicted with my, and also have an abusive relationship in need of food and shelter. Okay. Um, I don't know. Um, okay. So you can message me on Instagram because I don't, don't, I'm sorry, but there are so many things going on and I don't want anyone to donate to anything until I can verify if it's something. So if it's something legit or official. Okay. Um, and that's sadly the case that during the holidays, this type of stuff happens. Okay. So, um, message me on Instagram and, um, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Sranken Sharon says, oh, okay. One second. But yeah, the holidays, you definitely don't want. Um, everyone needs a roof over their head. Every, things can happen during the holidays. There's family emergencies and everything else. Um, a lot of people really need help, but um, we have to also be careful of and validate who is um, needing help um just for people's safety um okay so let's see um say her name hashtag say her name yes yeah, say her name shane quayla robinson we definitely want um sometimes i say robertson robinson um as my last name robertson okay but um say shane quayla robinson so we definitely want justice for her um justice will be served so yeah convict the cabo six and you're right that's a good perspective um let's see what else i can't believe that it's almost been two months oh my gosh but you know what i'm i'm really hope, hopeful and i'm just really praying that um we hear at least some good updates or news before then um, or even just some other good types of justice like can be served as well. Um, remember, we can do all sorts of things to try to help. The having them arrested is the definitely the top thing you we want done. But in the meantime, we can still be trying to help the family with little things like even just getting that Instagram removed is helpful. If we can get those GoFundMe's down, that will be helpful. If we can get people fired, that will be helpful. So little things can actually help. Even making people uncomfortable helps because they're not really enjoying their life as much. A couple of six because they're they have to be in hiding. 
So we can, and then also just staying on top of the FBI and everything else, because if it wasn't for like social media, um, this would have been just swept under the rug and the family, would, their voices would have been um, drowned out or not even heard. Okay, so social media is one that brought it to light and social media is the one that can keep it alive as well and help get justice. Um, yeah, and they're still going to work like nothing. Yeah, still trying to. And then people are like, oh, don't call their job. Don't try to get them fired. Um, I don't care if they lose their job. OK, I don't. And a lot of people don't. So don't come over here with that sympathetic crap. Um, yeah, so he definitely seemed like he was cut off. And now I'm like, uh, cliffhanger. What else? Let's see. Good evening. We need to start hashtagging boycott Mexico. And I bet they move faster than. Um, well, they, according to them, they have an arrest warrant for life for extradition they applied for. I think, in my opinion now, is that the FBI, they are doing their own separate investigation into it, and they don't really want to extradite her until they have all, um, they've investigated everything themselves. And to think about it, like I said at the beginning, um, if she was extradited back to Mexico and they didn't properly investigate the crime scene, collect evidence properly and do everything how they were supposed to do so she would get justice, um, Dejanay could actually use that in court to her benefit. She could use those things like the, the crime scene was tampered with. Oh, they don't have this evidence. They don't have that evidence. They don't have this. So when she goes to trial, that can actually help her to win or win, right? But if the FBI does their own case and they do a uh, like investigation and they do certain things, then they'll be able. Um, I have heard of a way where the FBI can actually uh, charge her or try her with something over here in the states. There are, uh, I think there was a case like that before or something that can be done by the FBI. I, I will have to look into it, but um, I would rather for it to be done properly and slow than rushed. And then she ends up getting off because there was something wrong with the investigation in Mexico. Okay. So hopefully they, it's a thorough investigation. So um, she won't be able to find weaknesses or holes in the prosecutor's um, statements and things, okay? So, y'all, I'm probably late, but I learned about this sister, the passport abuser, Jay. Oh, yeah, uh, I saw that, and I was like, I, I, I listened to maybe a few minutes of it, and I completely turned it off, because to me, um, people... People are making this about themselves and making comparisons and just keep it on Shanquela, please. Just keep it on her. Uh, the, her story is unique. It's, it's her story. It's her name that needs to be shown. And uh, and that's her story. And no one really compares to her story, okay? This is the first time I ever even heard of something like this case. This is her story. It's her name. Her name needs to be shown. And I know other people are victims of crimes and of violence and of different things, but um, you never really like, it's like walking into a room and then you, um, someone is telling their story about how they were victimized. And then you start, you take over the whole conversation. And then now you have made it about you. So, you take your uh, story to a separate platform or a separate day or a separate time. You don't take someone else's line, like limelight or spotlight, should I say. Now, there are some times when you can say, well, protect black women and it can apply to anyone like that. But to go into great detail and making the spotlight put onto you instead of Shanquela. That's the, on the hashtag now, Justice for Shanquela. Let's keep it on the hat, the name and the hashtag, Shanquela Robinson. Robinson, okay. Um, let's see. Something kind of similar to Shanquela happened to her a few years back with fake friends while on vacation. 
Um, I didn't finish watching that Night Charm. I thought it was going to be more about Shanquela, and then it turned out to be not. So I heard we got off. Um, okay. So, but I'm not knocking that channel or saying anything like that. I'm just saying I'm I just went there because I thought it was about Shanquela. Okay, just that's, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so uh yeah, keep hashtagging Shanquela, um Robinson and Yeah, keep her name alive. I was like, woo, Sharon, that's a long hashtag. Long hashtag, girl. Okay, I'm throwing a party for her lockup. Yes, hunty, yes. Um, pray you have a blessed weekend as well. Yeah, hope y'all have a great weekend. Um, then you have been working hard. Take a day and relax. Yeah, I'm definitely going to relax, um, refresh, and also do some research in some of my free time. Um, where is it? The article, I went over the article and you have to rewind the video. I went over the article and the video. Right now I'm reading the comments to wrap it up. Um, so I can go ahead and play it again for anyone that just got here late. So let me go ahead and play the video one more time and then I'll finish the rest of the comments and then that'll be it. Um, let's go up. Governor Roy Cooper says Shanquella Robinson's family is in his thoughts. He spoke to Channel 9's government reporter Joe Bruno about her case, saying he's hopeful the FBI will get to the bottom of this mysterious death and find out what really happened. Not knowing really what happened to your loved one, that has to be a cause of great concern. And I hope that federal officials and the FBI can work with the Mexican government to find out what happened to her. Shanquella died while on vacation with friends in Mexico in late October. Investigators there say an arrest warrant has been issued in the case, but no suspect was named and no arrests have yet been made. Santa. Yeah, that was just a brief statement from him. Um, yeah. Let's see. Please sign the petition, um, change.org for slash Shinquela. That's change.org for slash um, Shinquela. If you have not already, um, please share to all your friends and on social media, to everyone in your contact list, to get this word around. Um, hey, Jam. So, sure, do they give you a thank you and let you know how many more people they will show the petition to? Okay. Yeah, so they, yeah, they do. Um, they give you a thank you and let you know how many more people they will show the petition to. Yeah, so I'm glad they let people know that, uh, how many more people they will show the petition to. So thank you for um, that, Bossy. And let's see, I'll keep hashtagging justice for Shanquilla Robinson. Oh, you're talking about the petition. I thought you were talking about the video. I'm behind on the comments. My bad. Well, I played it again. Okay, so. Let's see. I'm going to read a few more comments. Hey, Valerie. Um, I heard they don't have trials in Mexico like they do here. They just send you to jail. Um, I've heard there are trials there as well. Okay. Um, and I also, I also show like in another video, I have like their, what you call it? their court dockets or documents and things like that. So it seemed like they have a lot of similar setup, which is why the, um, Night Trump says, which is why the whole she's trans thing needed to be deaded because she could have used that to see I'm a real woman. They are looking for trans. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that people can use and in defense. So when you're investigating, if, if an investigation was not done properly in Mexico, which I'm sure there it wasn't, because think about it, if they come to the crime scene and they are investigating alcohol poisoning, right? Uh, and they think it's alcohol poisoning or accidental, 
they probably won't like thoroughly investigate the crime scene as if it's like a uh, murder. Okay. So that's why I said that it definitely needs to be properly investigated so that way, that way when it does go to trial, that there won't be a lot of loopholes and things she can use to get out of it. Okay, I'll read a few more comments. Okay, um, Duke says, um, that's incorrect. Um, Mexico does have trials. The only difference is that in the U.S. you are innocent until proven guilty, and in Mexico it's the opposite. Oh, uh, yeah, and also sometimes in the United States, people are really, like, doing, they, like, the the court of public opinion a lot of times is that you are guilty too a lot of people like we like we want like Dejanay we saw you we want your ass and the cop we so a lot of times we all like the public will also say that someone is guilty too sometimes you know but yeah um let's see but we we know that they are guilty um they lied about what happened and that's simply covering up and we need their ass in jail especially Dejane and then everyone else that was accomplice and help uh cover it up but yes there is uh trials and they also have like court records and documents as well um similar to the u.s um i actually found like a few databases that they have over there and uh, if she's extradited, I'm sure she'll probably be in those systems as well. Um, you are a rock star. Thank you for the, uh, thank you, Gypsy Girl, for the super chat. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I like rock stars too, because like I said, uh, the mass reporting helps. So I'm I'm not the only one that reported that IG to get it taken down. I'm not the only one making only one emailing. And I actually um, had someone send me a letter. They got a response, but... The response was me and me. It was like a basic response, but I'll still show y'all the letter they got from, um, I forgot what Mexican um, government official was, but I will show that um, after the weekend, okay? But yeah, everyone is really helping um, to chime in and I'm happy that um, that we are all uniting and trying to get justice for Shinquela. Um, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And let's see. North Carolina Governor Cooper is the best trust. He is on it. Yeah, and now Cabo, y'all heard the governor. He um he don't believe what y'all said. That's why he said uh the investigation will tell the truth. Tell the truth. Um, hey Angela. Yeah, thank, thankfully that we had that death certificate and we had that um, video to sh that told the truth about what happened. And the video and that death certificate go hand in hand about her and how she died. She was murdered. Murdered. I just want at least her in jail ASAP. Yes, 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 honey. She needs to be in jail. And uh, there's a couple more comments, love, and then I will see y'all after the weekend. Do I have a uh, cash app? Yes, I do. It's um, a dollar sign, truth teller, Danny. So yeah, um, dollar sign, truth teller, Danny. I never really put my banner up. I forget. I just go live and I never really put my banner up. Um, so let's see. Let me read my la the last comment here. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, thank you for posting that, Marie. So that's my um, information right there is uh, dollar sign to tell Danny. Um, that's how you can support my channel. But like I said, um, I would rather you send it to the family because they are really going to need as many um by the time you by the time you try to sue, there is Cabo Villas, there's uh who else? Yeah, Cabo Villas can probably be sued. That's why they are hiding things online. Who else can be sued? Mm, okay, uh, all the Cabo Six can be sued. So 
to even bring about lawsuits and things that can cost money. And then also there's need a new second uh, autopsy. There's a lot of things that could cost money. Even having like a good lawyer costs money. So I would rather the money donation sent to the family. But um, so I will see y'all after the weekend. And um, I have not heard anything back. Let me check my email real fast. I have not heard anything back from all those people I emailed about Elise. Let me check that really fast while I have y'all. Um, only thing I had was that one auto reply message. That was just auto reply. So yeah, I don't see anything. I got one. I got one email from someone that was saying that I will still have a document about Malik soon. Um, I got that email. Um, it's just about his arrest, previous arrest. Uh, let me clarify, previous arrest. So that they just said that it gave me an update. It's coming soon. And let's see, what's this one? And let me check this. So no, I don't have any, I don't have any new updates. Let me see. Oh, yes. Wait, let me see what this is. Oh, yes, Hunter. Yes, 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 yes. I like this email right here. So let me tell you all about this good news. Um, so it says in the afternoon on Wednesday. That sounds good to me. I can squeeze him in there. Yes, Hunter. Yes. So let's see. Hold on one second. So basically, let me go ahead and... um. Thank you for support, supporting my channel, Lisa. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Thanks, girl. Thanks so much. Um, so, let's see. I'll tell y'all the good news. I sent money to that family as well as NC. Yes, they definitely need, they're going to need a lot of money to have a good lawyer for a lot of things they're going to need to be doing. Um, thank you for your hard work. I sent you $20. Dinner is on me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lisa. Okay. Um, so everybody know I like the wings. He was trying to make fun of me for liking the chicken wings. But yeah, if I do, I like my honey barbecue wings and my uh, lemon pepper wings and, 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 and your point. Um, thank you, um, Lisa. So let's see. Um, hey, Sheila. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you all the good news. So there is um an expert um there's an expert medical examiner right i know we had dr Velars, right but this person is um complete i had already messaged this person way before um dr Velar, okay and this person was actually featured on a lot a lot of I can't really give too much information because people like to try to sabotage things. And yeah, I'm not going to let people try to sabotage. But yeah, he is an expert uh, medical examiner. Um, he has been on a lot of uh, news stations and uh, like celebrities are, you know, like celebrity like journalists use him for the, his expert opinion. And he will be on this um, channel. He will be answering any questions y'all might have and like a lot of detail about we know like her uh, on the death certificate says Atlas looks luxation. So we were just picking his brain. Y'all have any questions? It will be live. So I will, you will be able to directly uh, ask him questions. So I'm glad he is doing it and he's doing it for free too. So hunting y'all. So that's the good news. And I, I still have to schedule it with him, but he just said like Wednesday at one would be great for him. So most likely I will fit my schedule to his because yeah, why not? Um, so yeah, so if y'all have any questions about like from a medical examiner and remember a medical examiner really, um, would know a lot about like 
certain things uh, about the cause of death, different things about that. So a lot of people have questions about that. Um, and keep in mind, he um, did not do the autopsy that was done in Mexico. He's just somebody that would give his expert opinion on the topic and he would have not a lot of knowledge about it. Okay. Before I had one Dr. Velares and he um, he really couldn't do like a live interview with me because I don't speak uh, no habla espanol, so I can, I don't speak Spanish. But this person is um, um, I don't need a translator for, so I will be able to be more interactive, and he will be on this channel, and y'all will be able to ask him questions as well because I will do it live. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm I'm yeah. Let's see. Okay, so y'all, I will see y'all later. Um, definitely, definitely y'all will see me on Wednesday. Uh, my priority right now, I need to see more information. I need to get a hold of somebody for at least, at least the other people, I was able to get somebody on the phone, but it seems like I'm not able to get a lot of people, other people on the phone. So I need to get somebody from her um, job on the phone. Yes, I love some wings, prefer flats. I like them both, flats and drums. The drums, y'all, the drums have all the meat on it. That's where all the meat is at. Um, so let's see. Don't tell too much to any. Yeah, trolls watching. Yeah, you know, trolls watching like to try to sabotage. That's why I'm not telling anything. Oh, you just have to wait just like everybody else to see what's happening. Um, how do I become a member? You would just click the join button. Do I have a mod that can post to the link to the membership. Um, welcome new members, welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a lot of new uh, members on this channel. Um, thanks for, um, welcome to the ho second home of the Avengers. And yeah, I definitely wanna get some rest. And also if I have to interview him, I need to get my questions ready because a lot of times if you don't have your questions like prepared, you'll forget what you wanted to ask somebody. And when you have someone like this on your platform, you need to make sure you got every question you want um, answered because it could be like a once in a lifetime opportunity to have this person on your platform and you like, dang, I should have asked this question. So y'all can think of y'all questions as well, okay? um ahead of time so it look it looks like now it'll be like wednesday around one o'clock um p.m i need to see his time zone he just put 1 p.m he didn't say his time zone so i have to check uh, where he's at okay let's see so don't hold me to 1 p.m i need to check out time zone i will actually put up uh when i have the time i will actually put up a um community post or something okay um uh, yeah, bye. Um, bye bye. Get some rest, girl. You are working hard. Very good. Yeah, definitely. I am going to get some rest. Torres. Hey, Torres. I heard someone talking about Wang, so I came to see if I could get an order of them. Coming right up. Coming right up. All right, y'all. Bye. Bye, Marie. Bye. I don't want to use your name. Bye, everybody. Bye. And yeah, hit that like button on your way out. <laughs>